Hello class 5, Lena ma'am here. Hope you all are fine. So today we'll be starting a new chapter that is chapter 4 and the topic is Win Song. So my dear students, the story is written by Anne Carol Moore and when we have to see the background of Anne Carol Moore, she was born on 12 July 1871. She was an American educator, writer as well as she was an advocate for children's libraries. All right. So this story is, you know, basically all about Rachel and her family lived in a cabin in a dusty plains of North America. The strong raising winds of the dusty plains made their lives difficult, but they were forced to bear with it. All right. They led an isolated life filled with hard work that left no time for relaxation. Her father told in the fields while her mother did all the household works. The only source of entertainment in their lives was going to the town once a month, and they all looked forward to it. One such Saturday, the family drove to the town together. At the general store, Rachel was to show off a colorful quilt that she had hand-stitched beautifully. And once they reached the store, Rachel's parents and younger siblings went off to explore the store. Rachel, however, wandered to the doorway where she had seen a canary in a cage. The bright yellow color of the bird and its restless energy color you know cut her eye it feeded around in the cage hopping from one perch to another and as soon as her parents appeared there the bird started singing joyfully Rachel however she absorbed how pleased her mother looked and immediately you know uh, she exchanged her quilt for the bird and when they back home the little canary entertained them endlessly they called him Sir Gallant because he battled with the wind. The louder the wind, the louder he sang. Meanwhile, Rachel kept remembering the strange man's words and tried to listen to the wind. She found that if she tried very hard, she could pick up tunes from the wind. Understood? But one day, Sir Gallant fell silent. Neither did he sing, nor did he hop. Rachel only found this unusual behavior because even he did not sing Sir Gallant always hood up in the delight. Rachel knew he was not sick like everyone thought. Quietly she went outside and noticed that there was a strange silence all around. The sky overcast with dark clouds and the air felt heavy. Rachel also heard the faint rumbling of thunder. Suddenly she remembered the man in the store and his words about listening to the wind. And she, you know, immediately realized that a tornado was about to hit the area. Her mother rushed into the cellar with Rachel's siblings and she went to the fields to warn her father. She convinced him not to wait out for it was already raining heavily. The tornado lasted only a minute, though it felt like hours. When the family finally emerged from the shelter, they were, re uh, they were relieved to find the cabin intact. The animals had escaped the tornado, but the fields were destroyed. The loss of crops would make the things more difficult, but they felt happy to be alive. Finally, they were safe because of a little yellow bird. Alright, so in this way, the story ends here. Hope you all have understood. So to comprehend more on this topic, I'll be sending you the summary as well. Go through it once. Okay, and open your English to copy. Write the topic, classwork and write the summary with your good handwriting. Alright, thank you.